thanks to you and Joachim and Hoge for inviting me. So, okay, yeah, so like Christoph said, I, I'm going to talk about big multidimensional data. So everything is big these days, uh, so I had to go big as well. And, and we're going to look at it from data acquisition to something called prescriptive analytics, which is a new type of analytics that I'll also try to introduce. I come from the Center for Data Intensive Systems at the Department of Computer Science in Aalborg, Denmark. And as Christoph already said, this is, this is pretty much uh, what I do. I try to push the world into, into cubes, uh, whatever the, the world in, in terms of data, and I've been doing that for uh, upwards for like 20 years. So what we're going to talk about today is, uh, well, what is big data? We should know that by now, but, but I, I, I think it's still interesting to go back and, and look a little bit at, at that. And then what is then big multidimensional data? And then we'll try and I'll try to see, uh, see what is really new about it, because, of course, not everything is new about big data. And what is it that we should do differently? And that's quite a bit. And how do we handle all this volume and velocity and variety and so on? And then, of course, this being a keynote, uh, you have to reflect a little bit. Uh, and, and really what I, I see happening in big multidimensional data is that there's sort of a new data cycle or new data flow, uh, which is different from the traditional one, where you merge some steps, you have hierarchical steps, steps composed of steps, models are included in all steps, and there is a new step called prescriptive analytics. Okay, so first a brief recap. So what is multidimensional data? Well, multidimensional data is about sort of making sense of, uh, of your transactional data or sensor data, whatever. So the most important events are called facts. So if, if we have sort of a sales example, the sale itself would be a fact. Then we have dimensions which characterize the fact these could be time or product or location. And then the facts, they form cells in multidimensional cubes. So here we have a three-dimensional cube for sales. We have time, we have city, we have product. And inside, we have little numbers. These are called measures. So these are the properties that we want to optimize. So that could be the price or the number of units sold or whatever. And then we have what? Uh, Stefano talked about yesterday that we have sort of different levels of granularity, different levels of detail, and for this we have hierarchies in the dimensions, so a product could be grouped in product types, which are grouped in product categories, and so on. And then on this data, you perform what's 